Hey guys, Cindy here from my hometown, Queen Bee. Um, I have had a crazy couple of weeks. Um, I started doing reviews, um, product reviews, and it's kept me very, very busy. Um, and it's been pretty interesting, actually. So before the last couple of weeks, um, about, probably about a month and a half ago, um, I got my very first review, and I kind of had a little break for a while where I didn't really have anything. But my very first review was a self-tanning product. And I have it here to share with you guys. Mm -hmm. It's a way to tan. Um, and they actually call it a hybrid tanning silicone. Um, you can use it as a self-tanner, just you know, just regular self-tanning. You can also use it um, as a lotion before going tanning, like in a UV bed. Um, and it has a lot of anti-aging, um, antioxidant stuff in it too, so it's supposed to be really good for your skin. So um, the really cool part about this is I actually have a giveaway. So you can actually win a full-size bottle of this if you go to my um, blog page. Uh, www.hometownqueenbee.blogspot.com and if you look up at the top um, there should be a section that will say giveaways just go right to that and um, you can enter yourself to win a bottle of this um, and it will end September 30th so make sure if you want to try to win it that you get in there before September 30th so that was cool that was my very first one um, then I went like I said probably about a month month and a half where I didn't really do any reviews until I started doing Amazon reviews. So since then, um, <laughs> the UPS and Mailman and everything make several stops at my house per day. Um, today, for example, I think I got five packages. Um, so for the last about two weeks or so, um, I think is when I kind of started this whole thing, um, it's been crazy. So let me just kind of show you the movie bag a little bit. Right over here, if you'll notice, all of my boxes. <laughs> yeah. This one are all boxes. And so if you want to know what's in those boxes, I'm going to start with um, I've gotten a lot of supplements. And anyone that knows me knows I try to be pretty healthy. I try to live a healthy lifestyle and, you know, with like um, diet and, you know, we, we don't do a lot of sugar and we don't do a lot of like you know, dye and coloring and preservatives. We try to watch all that stuff. So uh, kind of, you know, along with that, we have supplements. So, here are the supplements that I've got in the last two reviews. It's been interesting. <laughs> so, um, I'll just kind of run down through them all. We have the Omega-3 fish oil. Um, this company I actually really like. It's the Abundant Health. And kind of like what I was just saying, they don't have, these are gluten-free. Um, they're free of artificial colors and flavors. Um, all that kind of good stuff. GMO free. So I really like this company. If you're a health nut like I am, um, check into the Abundant Health. And like I said, you can get all these through Amazon. So that's the Omega-3 fish oil. Um, also with the Abundant Health, I have turmeric, which this one's supposed to be um, a natural anti-inflammatory. And because I have a lot of back problems, most of my pain actually comes from inflammation. So I'm really excited to be using this one. Oh, the also from Abundant Health, I have this Resveratrol Ultra and Green Coffee Bean Extract with GCA, also from Abundant Health. Also from Abundant Health, Hair, Skin, and Nails, and I'm very excited to be using this one because a couple of years ago, I cut my hair about, probably about as short as you can possibly go, like a pixie cut. And so for the last like two to three years, I've been trying to grow my hair out. <laughs> and it's getting there, but it's taking a while. So I'm going to start using this and hopefully my hair will grow a little faster. That would be nice. Um, the also from Abundant Health, Vitamin D3. Uh, now that we're winding down in summer um, here in lovely western New York, I say that very sarcastically, um, <laughs> we don't get a lot of sun. So vitamin D. Then, the last two are different companies. This is Life Glow Probiotics. Um, this is also gluten-free and, uh, I don't know what else to do. Probably not quite as good as these other health, but at least it's gluten-free. That's good. Um, probiotics, as you know, are really good for like your digestive system. This one, this Garcinia, 95% uh, HCA. Um, this is actually really good for, it's like um, a natural weight loss kind of thing. It's supposed to suppress your appetite. I think I've heard this talk about in like Dr. Oz and stuff. Um, so this is pretty cool. Oh yeah, dietary supplement, fat burner, and yeah. 
Um, this company is Glory Seal. So I have that. Um, then I've gotten this is um, a vitamin C serum, and this is a vitamin E oil. Um, the vitamin C serum is good for your face, pretty much just kind of like a moisturizer. The vitamin E, um, I actually got for my son because last year, um, he was in kindergarten, it was pretty much towards the end of the year, he was in gym class, he fell, smacked his chin on the gym floor, and his chin just kind of split wide open. So it required six stitches. Um, the nice thing is it's kind of under his chin, so like when you're looking at him, you don't really see it, but if you lift up his chin, you can see a little scar. I mean, it heals really nicely, but it does have a little scar. So, I got him the vitamin E oil because um, that actually will help oh, that's what I'm sorry. Um, that will actually help uh, get rid of that scar. So, hopefully, we can get rid of that little scar that he does have. Another really cool thing, I kind of love this thing. Probably more than I really should. <laughs> um, this is the Elite Serum RX um, Extra Strength. It Basically, when I opened up the box, I was like, okay, this looks like a soap syringe. What is this that they sent me? Um, and it basically is just like a little syringe. Um, you um, basically just put this like along your eyes. It's for um, pro-seat, which I'm young enough, I don't really have that problem. But for um, dark circles, which I do have that problem. I don't know why. It doesn't matter how much sleep I get. I still have dark circles um, and also puffiness. So every night after I wash my face, um, I've been using this kind of just dab along, you know, that area. And... Um, it's a little bottle, but because I'm only using it one spot, I haven't used it last in quite a while. And um, I just think the container is really neat. That's pretty cool. So that, I think, as far as I know, that's all as um, far as like supplements and stuff like that go. Let's see what else I have. <laughs> um, where to start? Where to start? Okay, well, one more thing that's for like face washing. Um, this is a new up-and-coming product, um, Feather and Bone. I don't know if I'm supposed to put this on my car. That's a little sticker. <laughs> I won't be putting it on my car, but that's the size point. Um, she wrote me a nice little note here that she wants me to try and use it and um, let her know what I think. So I will be using this product. Um, I don't know if when you buy it, if it comes like this, but basically there's one little, like, one little pill in here, um, but you don't take the pill. Please don't take the pill. <laughs> um, you take it out, you put it in your hand, um, and then you add some water to your hand, and basically it becomes like a little paste. You kind of like mix it all together, and then you put that on your face and you wash your face with it. So um, the feather and bone product, if you ever see it, please don't ingest the pill. I don't know what it would do, but it's not for that. <laughs> um, probably wouldn't do anything too horrible because it's actually all natural stuff. Um, so it's supposed to be good for washing your face naturally, you know, come up with and stuff like that. So I've used it a couple times, um, and I have to keep using it and let them know what I think of it. So far, so good. And now I think that's probably all as far as things go. Okay, the next one, I was so excited to get this, and then I immediately became disappointed, not because of the product. Okay, so last week, um, the UPS driver came and just kind of literally like tossed this big box onto our porch on um, like our little like, walkway and so I thought okay no big deal get it out to start opening it <laughs> and I was like oh I don't think it's supposed to make that noise <laughs> um it was packaged so nicely though like I, I still have some of the package on here because it was just so tightly packed but guess what it still broke they were wine glasses. Well, actually, one broke, one didn't. Um, so, and I'm supposed to review them, so I'm like, um, I went to the company, and I'm like, okay, they broke. I don't think it's, you know, from Amazon or anything. I think it was our UPS driver, because she just kind of lost it. Could you possibly send another one, um, another set that they came into? Yep, absolutely, and then a few days here, I got the second set. So let's see. Okay, that's the broken one. I'm not going to take the broken one out. I'm only going to take out the non-broken one, and these, let me glass off, these are actually huge, like, I like wine, so, um, yeah, have one of these guys with the wine, we will be having a fun night, <laughs> so, they are hand painted, they're hand painted, see that part, I better shut my phone off, it's going crazy over here, 
So it's just got this neat swirl pattern um, along the bottom. And so the, so mad that the other one is all broken, but so it's all hand painted down there. And it's seriously like it's just like a big long Alright. So I now have a set of three because the other one is broken. Um he let me keep this one of course while they sent me the new one, um, which I have not opened yet, but let me just the glass down here. Um and it's funny because I suggested to him, you know, I'm like, when I placed the order again, I didn't see anything. I was hoping, like, maybe Amazon had a thing where, like, if you have, like, special instructions for a box, like, fragile or handle with care or something. But I didn't see that. So when I wrote the guy the email back, I'm like, you know, maybe you could work that out with Amazon where you, you know, have an option to put fragile or something. Well, okay, the box comes like this, right? Okay, here's the box. Nice big box. Okay. Okay, so I open it up. And fragile. Guess what? That doesn't help them when they're doing it. But nice try anyway. Um, I haven't taken this out yet, but I don't hear any rattling, so that's a good sign. So I don't think that's broken. So now I have three wine glasses, which is good, I guess. Okay. I also got something for my dog, Mr. Foxy Bobo. He's kind of running around here. If you hear some weird noises, he's like in a speech mode or something. So he keeps moving. Um, this really nice um, pet carrier. And I personally don't do much flying because I don't like to fly. But this is a little tag here. Airplane compliant. Um, so if you do ever travel with a pet, um, you can take this on the plane. And it also, people laugh at me, when I travel, I will actually seat belt my dog in. I have a um, plastic crate carrier thing, and I will actually put the um, seat belt through the handle and just buckle him in, because I don't want him to get hurt. But So I kind of thought this was cool to actually have that right there. And I'm like, see, I'm not doing <laughs> um, And then, of course, on the inside, it's got really nice setting, and then there's a shoulder strap, too, that you can put on. The only thing is, okay, this is a size medium, um, and if you guys have ever seen Mr. Bobo, um, he's about six pounds, he's a Pomeranian, he's got a lot of hair, but he's not very big. He could barely fit in here, so I didn't think I needed to order a large, because I have a tiny dog, but that was kind of small. Like, figure that out, yeah. So, not a lot of room, but, I mean, he fit, so I wouldn't want to keep him in there for a long time. Um, just because he doesn't have a whole lot of room, but at least, I mean, it's going to be comfortable for him. So, and then this zips up, of course. So, that was for my Mr. Bobo. Okay, I also got, we all call them selfie sticks. This company decides to call it wireless mobile phone monopod. <laughs> so, it's a selfie stick. Um, I'm actually charging it up over here so I can do the video review for it. Most of you get charged up. Um, so that's cool. I actually had one um, already, it's actually over there, um, that I bought myself, but for some reason I couldn't ever get it to work with this phone that I had. The last one I had it work and with this one not, so I was like, well, maybe it's just not compatible. So hopefully this one will be compatible because that would be great. Who doesn't want a selfie stick? Come on. We all need a selfie stick every now and then, right? Okay, wow, I'm going through this really fast. That's all the finished stuff, but like, please, we're going through it back. Okay, this is from Uptown Cosmeceuticals Hot Jelly Cream. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, um, but it's 87% organic and it's a cellulite reduction and muscle relaxation. And I actually just got this today. I can't really see that very well. Too bright. Um, I have not used it, so you know what? I haven't even opened it. Let's see if it's all well fine. You guys are going to check this out with me. Ooh, it's got a expiration date two years from now. This is good. Who doesn't want to get rid of some cellulite, right? Come on, women. We all have it. Let's see. Oops. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's, um... Not minty, but like you can, there's like a weird heat sensation coming from it. <laughs> I would it will like, it can go away to the other side. 
So I'll be rubbing that on my thighs and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Uptown, hot junk. Okay. Next. I'm not out of stock right now. Well, let's see, I've got a new box I haven't even opened yet. Oh my gosh, I think that's it. We just covered everything. Really? I mean, that went really fast. Okay, so that actually didn't seem so bad, but you know what? When you have to like do a review for each one of these things, for each little vitamin thing and everything, it's a lot, but look at that, we did it. So now I can break down all these boxes. Um, this was my crazy couple of weeks of reviewing. Um, I've got a lot more things coming, and then I think I've got to scale it back a little because it's, it's crazy to like have all these products show up at your house. But it's also a pretty good experience, it's cool, and um, I'm getting a lot of vitamins and stuff, so and I can't complain about that, right? <laughs> um, but this is my new world that I'm venturing into with the blogging and the reviews and stuff, so it's all new to me, but hey, we gotta start somewhere, so this is me starting. So um, this is kind of my first video as far as like, going through a review haul that I got. I've done a video on like, clothing and fashion and stuff like that, so this is still kind of a new video. Um, section for me. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I will have, I'm sure, more of these coming. So, um, so I have to slow down a little, but I will still do them because this is fun. It's a lot of um, fun to do and it's a good experience and I like doing it and it's kind of branches off with the blogging stuff. So keep them coming guys. We'll just keep going. So thank you very much for um, tuning in to watch my little video here. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I got, and I will see you again next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.